I'm Dwight Stair. I'm Donna Stair. And we've attended Grace Church for 56 years now. And we've been married for 62 years. Okay, we have two sons. Fred, <coughs> excuse me, is married and has four children. And his wife is Linda. And then Rick and Penny have one son. And Rick and Penny and Corbin attend here. And I grew up in the West Salem, Northwestern High School area. So I graduated from Northwestern High School, and she graduated from Worcester. Hey, I worked in a grocery store. I check out, and that's when you had to push the keys. You didn't have to slide them through like they do now. And the pastor of the Worcester Grace Brethren Church would always come through my line. And he came through, and he said, I haven't seen you in church for a while. I said, nope. I said, I can't come. Oh, I said, because I go roller skating. And he said, what? I said, well, I go roller skating. I like to roller skate and I'm good at it. And so he said, uh, and this is what got me, do you think you can skate your way to heaven? From then on, I went to church and I'm the kind that sometimes it takes me a while to make a decision. And I listened and listened. I made my decision. And that night in our youth fellowship, in our youth meeting, they sang, um, I've decided to follow Jesus. And I don't know if you've ever heard it. And that song has always stuck with me. I've decided to follow Jesus. Though no one goes with me, still I will follow. I will follow Jesus. And it just is really what. And then I just grew hungry and hungry for the word. I had a little different story. Mine, uh, of course, I was a young kid, was taken to church in Sunday school. And uh, after we uh, came here to the Worcester Grace Brethren Church. Uh, they had VBS, Vacation Bible School. Now you call it Bible Camp. But uh, in those days, we had VBS for two weeks, six days a week. And uh, youth are on the last day of VBS. They gave an opportunity for those that had received Jesus as their savior to uh, indicate that. and. Uh, and I did, I received the Lord during vacation Bible school, probably when I was six or seven years old. One of the challenges was finding out what God would have us to do, to find God's will for our life. And uh, for me, it, God didn't write it on a wall, like a handwriting on a wall or anything like that. But I, I somehow, during my time in the service, I, I had a longing to go to school and uh, learn, take accounting, and I did, and uh, then got a job with Firestone. And uh, it kinda, that was the job that paid the, the bills, but one of our main goals was to work and serve the Lord. And of course, that's what brought us to Grace Church in Norton, that when we moved up there and up here in 1962, why we began to stand here. I had a cousin going to Norton Church and they were struggling and needed some help. Had about 50, 60 people struggled with turnover of pastors and uh, for a number of years. So it was, uh, it was a real challenge during those years to kind of keep things going. We didn't have enough money to pay the mortgage. In fact, we sometimes couldn't pay the interest on the mortgage. So the interest was added to the principal. That's discouraging. One time I came to uh, the uh, board meeting I was prepared to vote to close the church. It got to that point sometime. Really, it, it was when Pastor Bob Combs came as our pastor that this church really turned around, started to grow, and uh, we paid off that debt, built uh, a addition onto our church, and uh, it was then we began to see that the, the Lord was blessing. Pastor Bob brought a vision of what we could be, not what we were or what we what we were in the past. People began to come and check us out and that was something new and exciting to see new people come. And then as we grew, uh, then uh, along came something called Judgment House. Probably some of you have heard about Judgment House. And that was an exciting period of time. Uh, the youth work took off. Jeff Bowe came as our pastor, youth pastor. I think one thing that I noticed to accept people how they came. 
if they were dressed up, fine. And especially children. As long as I can walk and move and have a mind, my heart is still for kids because nowadays, children, well, all people go through a lot, but it breaks my heart when I see what children go through. Short little pastor had a little saying, uh, <laughs> accept people where, where they, they are, are. Yep. take them where they need to go. Right. That became a kind of a motto right. around here. And, and uh, But it always seemed like God gave a, a glimmer of hope uh, that he was working and uh, eventually uh, we stuck it out. And God began to bless and here we are today. Who would have, who would have believed that this church would have grown and had, uh, what do we have, eight campuses now or something like that? Well, I, I would advise young people that if they're serious about the Lord and serving Him that uh, that they become a real student of the Word of God. They're going to gr they're going to grow and gain their strength to live for Him by reading and studying and memorizing and meditating uh, on the Word and being part of a, a grace group. And secondly, I would say that uh, honor and obey their parents. Uh, that's the, a promise of one of the Ten Commandments. Probably the third thing would be is to be very careful in the selection of their friends. Their friends have great influence on their life, so be careful of who, the, who your friends are. The, the vertical relationship with the Lord is, is key, I think, to passion and living for the Lord. You gotta have the vertical relationship right and you have that by with your interaction with the word that's key and then once you get that straight the horizontal relationships kind of take care of themselves i would add a couple of things first is they're going to make two very important decisions in their life hopefully the first one will say yes to jesus and mean it from there on want to ask god for the desire to grow Secondly, it's going to be a mate. Maybe not everybody's going to get married, but pray and ask the Lord to lead you, even in their early, I tell the kids this, fourth and fifth graders, those are two very important decisions. We're all in ministry, whether we're on a job or you know, at the grocery store or wherever we're doing, or you're going to college and getting a degree, or you're just doing working, always, remember that you're serving the Lord no matter where you are and what you're doing.